this is the fifth fresh eyes. I thought it was the third. So, yeah, somewhere between three and five. <laughs> um, we've been making films here for since 1997. So, it's I just realized it's like the 20th anniversary of this program, which is amazing. This little program that doesn't even have a degree associated with it was just uh, ranked number one. I was, a so I was told this by the University of Washington, ranked number one in the state of Washington. Um, it was ranked number four among all public universities and colleges in the country. And it was ranked number five among all private and public colleges and universities on the West Coast. So that's pretty amazing. Um, <laughs> The only reason that we actually are ranked this high is because of all the other people associated with this program. Um, we have amazing consultants, we have an amazing staff, and we are in a, a terrific department. So we're going to talk about The Last Toy, which is actually a uh, working title for the film for the students from this year. And the point of the Fresh Eyes is that we're about 50% through the, the uh, development of this film. It's critical, when we, when we succeed as a team, it means that the audience actually understands the film and appreciates, appreciates the story the way we want it to be appreciated. So we have no idea whether it's going to work until we get your feedback, which is why you're here. You are what we call fresh eyes. And one of the reasons I believe that this program is very successful is that industry knows that if they hire people out of this program, which they do with regularity, that they know that, these, that, that the people that they hire not only do good work, because the product's always nice, I believe that that process, when it's successful, always produces a great product. Pre-production is usually the artistry. And the art is really the most important part of this process, because if we don't know where we're going, Short films also take a very, very long time, several years. Equipment, and so for three months, they've been actually working on creating a film from beginning to end.
my name uh, is Taylor Yoon. Uh, T A Y L O R Y O O N. Uh, Yoon, Y O O N. I'm a uh, fourth year. Um, it's a lot of iteration. It's like uh, you'll you'll spend a lot of time, maybe like 10, 20 hours, working on one um, shot or asset. Um, and then you'll get feedback and you'll have to almost redo it maybe five or six times um, and that's for every single shot or asset um, and that pipeline kind of goes through the entire quarter. What I, what I enjoy about this? Uh, it's challenging, like I think everyone in this capstone really enjoys animation um, as a form of communication and storytelling so it's natural that a lot of people here are willing to put in a lot more time than they would in, say, another class. Um, and everyone feels very familial here. Uh, we spend a lot of time in the labs. We get to know each other a lot. <laughs> um, you meet a lot of people from different departments. Um, in CSE, you, you know, you basically just take classes with CSE students, so you don't get very much variety. But in this class, you see people from informatics, CSE, um, art, uh, film, business, a lot of people. You know, if you spend 15 hours on one shot and you think it's absolutely perfect and then you get feedback on it that, you know, you have to do something completely different, um, it's kind of, it's emotionally difficult because you just invested so much time. Um, and it's also mentally strenuous because you just used your best ideas and now you have to come up with an even better one. So uh, it gets very t uh, challenging. I was the motion co-lead and editing co-lead, so I was at the front and the end of the pipeline. Um, for a long time, I've had an interest in art and animation, um, and I thought as a CS student, this would be like my one chance to really explore that in, de in, in depth. A lot of the skills they teach in this class apply beyond just film, so anything to do with 3D modeling or animation, like video games, um, it's, it's very useful and I plan on taking that forward in the future. It's, it's different because if you go to say an art school or a film school, the whole curriculum is going to be built up to teach you how to make um, every, uh, every part of a film or every part of an animation uh, over four years or two years or three years. But this class tries to cram everything into one year and it's just a crazy, hectic experience. Um, I think it teaches you a lot of things that you wouldn't otherwise, but um, yeah, it's, and it's got fantastic people. Like we got really good uh, consultants. Um, because I got to uh, learn some really cool stuff and learn how to do programming to like make the world a better place and help people and to build stuff to help people with um, um, to be have more convenient life and stuff. So that's why. I chose computer science and engineering because okay. I tried out with so that they you basically needed a job. Mm -hmm. Um, I choose computer engineering because I really uh, want to make the world a better place. So I'm trying to learn really cool stuff, programming stuff, to um, make people have more convenient lives. And that's uh, the reason why I chose it. Perfect. You're done. Thank yeah, you. That wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. If it doesn't look great, I'm going to so. Okay.